Easter Sunday, Year B. From the Gospel according to Mark. Go, tell his disciples and Peter that he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. In the name of our risen and redeeming Lord, even Jesus, who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our readings for this Easter Sunday focus on absence. I've been preaching all Holy Week about there being nowhere we can go where God has not been present. And so what do we hear from our gospel? He is not here. It's extremely important when we think about his not being here that we should acknowledge two things. Why he's gone and who is left. When we consider why he's gone, remember that Jesus having gone everywhere we go is not the same as our having gone everywhere Jesus has gone. Jesus has gone ahead of us in order to prepare a feast for all people. He's gone ahead of us to prepare enough celestial tissue to wipe away the tears from all faces. He's gone ahead of us to prepare a kingdom where he may receive his people as he takes away their disgrace from all the earth. He's gone ahead of us to open for us the gates of righteousness. All this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now we also have to acknowledge who is left, for Jesus leaves us with people who can signal to us what we need to know and help us process the information. Mary, Mary, and Salome went together to the tomb, sharing the burden of the spices and the ointment. When they got there, they found an angel waiting to give explanations and directions. The Corinthians have received the message that Paul proclaimed to them. In that message, they stand, and through that message, they're being saved. Though Christ is not here to hear and to hold, Though we've been told to await his coming, we are not awaiting alone. Having learned that we shall not die but live, let us not flee from the tomb, seized with terror and amazement. Instead, let us turn to one another and declare the works of the Lord. For on this day, the Lord has acted. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah.